respected viewers, brothers and sisters in Islam, Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. Welcome to light our night with me, your host, Ahmed Ali, and my co-host and my uh, brother, Ali Fadl Mullah, Ali Fadl, uh, who has crossed the seas and seven oceans and three continents. I think it's just one ocean <laughs> and one continent. Just to come to Karbala. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. uh, Mullah, Habibi. how are you doing? I'm good, not bad. Not bad yeah. Uh, well, I finally settled into the uh -huh. the atmosphere here, the ajwa. Um, today was the first time actually where I really took everything in in terms of um, heat. The, well, heat is one <laughs> thing, um, but the, the visitors themselves and yeah. the actual celebrations, because mm -hmm. um, I didn't actually see anything until now. So I've like there's there's actually mawakib, like there's congregations coming into the shrine paying their respects to Imam Hussein salam, in honor of the birth of Imam Mahdi mm -hmm. so it was nice to get a, um, um, an insight into the atmosphere here especially when it comes to the celebration yes um, now I got a couple of questions to ask you um, as a radud um, okay <laughs> okay the reason why they didn't send it to you is because they want me to ask you right all right so you don't you don't have time to prepare prepare okay uh, you know actually you don't need to prepare for this who do you look up to as a radud, okay. as, a, as a mullah? Who do you look up to in terms of uh, either reciting? Have you actually written poems or no? I've written one or two. One or two. Have you recited them or no? I've recited one of them. One? Yeah. Which was one? It? Uh, it was one a while, it? Uh, a good seven years ago. Oh, ah, okay. Um, something about Arba'in and Karbala. Nice. Yeah. Is that for, 40 days and counting? No, 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 no. That's all. It's a like classic. Yeah, that's all. Uh, it's a classic. <laughs> um, but. Regarding the question, yeah, who do you look up to uh, in your uh, career as a mullah? So, I, as I was mentioning a couple of nights ago, I, I grew up. Um, <laughs> I thought something oh, yeah. jumped. <laughs> <Me too. laughs> yeah, especially living in Iraq, I'm not used to like insects and everything. So anything that anything that jumps or cha or like something that moves, I'm always like, okay. So anyway, well, anyway, all right, tell you flowers. <laughs> it's just the flowers. No worries, guys. There's no insects or anything. Like it's just the flowers that move down. Anyway, so I grew up insects um, in the studio. Come on. Anyways, yeah. go ahead. You, you never know. You in, never in know. Iraq. So I grew up um, yes. uh, looking up to Bas Mullah Bas Mikarbalai, and I, and I was as I was saying, he he. You grew up with him? No, no, not grew up with him. As I grew up listening to him. Uh, listening to yeah, him. Yeah, grew yes. up listening to him. Coincidentally, my father was in the same school as him, but that's mm. because they both lived in Karbala. Yes. Um, but I grew up really admiring and appreciating his art history on the member. When I mean by art history, as, as in I really feel like when he is on the member, he gives his heart and soul to make the poetry into a theatrical play so that it really resonates with the with the audience. Yes. Because the only way you, because at the end of the day, what is poetry and what is recitation? Poetry is just a bunch of words that a poet has put onto paper. And when he puts it onto paper, it's the role of the reciter to be able to use his, uh, use his voice and use his imagination. Yes. And the tune and the melody to bring to life these words. And the best person to bring to life the words of the Ahlul Bayt and the poetry of the Ahlul Bayt is Mullah Basim Karbala. Mm -hmm. that's, that's hands down. And he's developed year on year, year out. Every single year he's developed something whereby, let me put it into context, right? How many Shia reciters, Arabic speaking reciters are there in the world? Many. Many. Probably in the thousands. Yeah. Maybe even the hundreds of thousands. Yes. Right? Every single one of them will copy Basim in a certain way. Yeah. Be it his hand movements, be it uh, his, uh, his, his tone, be it the way he even looks, right? Everyone wants to come about because because Baisim is a pioneer when it comes to really bringing it to life, the poetry yeah. of the Ahlul Bayt So that's he's, what I grew he, up He's with. become a role model to many. To, to absolutely many. And now he's even reached another milestone. So you'd always think, oh, Baisim, yeah, give him a couple of years and then, you know, people won't be... But year in, year out, you. he's always surprising people. So in the beginning of when, when he first introduced his tapes, it's like, oh, wow, what's going on? And then he produced the first video. I'm not sure if you heard, he received a lot of criticism because there's a video of him wearing like a, a white dress and then it's kind of just on a lot of one. No, no, no. It was a it was a wafat one. It was a, it was an istishad ah. one. Yeah, and it was um, like flowing in the wind and everything. And there was one he done underwater. There was many, many, many videos he did. So a lot of people were like, oh, what's this or that? But then they began to appreciate this guy has a vision. His vision is to bring yes. the Shia multimedia yes. to a level where people could think, oh, wow, that's respectful. Yeah. Right. Yeah, yeah. Not only that, but the milestone he's reached. I'm not sure if you've heard, but on YouTube, YouTube has recognized him. Yeah. 
as a, a person who's, who's generated millions of views. I think he's hit 10 million views or, or a million subscribers. So he's received a, a plaque yeah. saying congratulations from YouTube for your 10 million views or something like that. So milestone, also, and that's why I, I, I really look up, to, I look, look up to him in terms of both um, f uh, f as in the way he recites, the poetry that he recites, um, and just the way he is as a, as a character, mm -hmm. I, I really appreciate. That, by the way, that's the eastern side. There is the western side. Um, so I, I, there are a couple of Nasheed, Islamic Nasheed artists, they call them, um, who utilized the east and west. So I remember when I, was, I, was, I was saying that what I would love for my own personal vision is to bring English poetry, English um, Shia poetry, to a level where it's, it's, it's on a par with the Eastern... I, mean, I think it's difficult to do that. It's difficult. Because in Arabic, you have a huge imagination for Rawadid. I mean, mm. when it comes to, you know, since when did you hear, you know, take the example of Basim. I mean, he, as we mentioned, he is the idol mm. for when, when it comes to, um, you know, uh, reciting yeah. and, uh, you know, just basically reciting. You don't see him repeating the same tone. Oh. He has a different tone. And how many Latmiyas, thousands of Latmiyas thousands, he has? Yeah. You know, and for each one, there's a certain tone that he uses, yeah. uh, which, which is really amazing. Mm. Now for Western. It's very hard because they use the same melodies over mm. and over again. Uh, now, in your career, it's difficult, yeah. you know, you, and a couple of days ago, you said that you've taken some uh, tones, mm. Arabic tones, Eastern tones, yeah. within your uh, recitation. Yeah. Have you taken any from Western tones? Well, I mean, look, living in the West, it's difficult not to hear mm -hmm. certain songs mm -hmm. uh, or tracks because um, it, it's their culture. So you, you're bound to hear something every now and then. Uh, and I, th I think for, for um, learning purposes, mm -hmm. specifically learning purposes, uh, it's permissible to listen to a part of a certain song for learning purposes, not because you want to um, enjoy the song, but for just just for learning, for learning purposes. Learning, yeah, purposes. yeah no, no, honestly, for for learning purposes, just to take a bit of the structure uh -huh. to to actually study the way they uh, so they want to 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 study the way they they, they how how their music is brought about mm -hmm. to study. Um, what uh, what melodies they use? What it's actually called scientifically. So that way, that's the only way I can I can utilize um, the, the 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 east the western melodies for the eastern tunes mm -hmm. uh, for the eastern poetry. Yes. Because in the, the day, I, 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 look, as much as as much as you 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 know as much as we try, at the end of the day, English vocabulary is for English melodies. It's it yes. just doesn't work with the Arabic style. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Are you smiling? No, no, no. I'm, I'm just looking at the screen. Okay. Uh, it's, there's a bit of delay. All right. This okay. is what the viewers actually see because there, there, there's a bit of a delay just in case something pops out or, you know. Uh -huh. Okay. Cool. <laughs> or something happens. Right, yeah. So uh, but now, uh, I want to play a game. Uh -huh. Something beneficial. Bismillah. Just like the rest of the nights that okay. uh, we have been uh, doing. Khosh. Now, Mullah. One word or quick answers. Okay. Okay. One right. word, quick answers. Okay. So, you want to do rock, paper, scissors, or you want to just choose? What is this? You got questions? I got questions, you have to answer. And vice versa. You ask me, I have to answer. Oh, uh -huh. so the questions? Yes, the questions the I question have. Question game, yeah. Uh -huh. okay, okay. okay. So, just, just, to, just to get, just for the, uh, the benefit of the viewers. Yeah. Um, this is a quiz. It is. Yeah, and the way the quiz works is I ask Ahmed quick fire questions uh, on Islamic topics, mm -hmm. um, and he has to answer them. And the same, same goes to me. Do you want me to time you? Should I time you? Up to you. True time is 60 seconds? 60 seconds? 60 seconds. Well, there are, for me, there are only one word, so yeah, any, All right, let's, let's you, finish you, ten, you, 10 questions. Yeah. 10 questions. You know? All right. Khosh. How many times is Prophet Adam mentioned in the Quran? 16. No, wrong. 25. Okay. All right, so let's, I just want to suggest something. So how about we... Huh, I give you multiple choice? No, no, no. Huh? Uh, let me answer. Okay. And then at the end, we'll go through them again? We'll go through them. So right. you got this question right, this question wrong, this question wrong, this question wrong. Right. Yeah? Great, great. Yeah. Are you, Jacob? Yeah. Are you Googling? No, I don't know. Oh, okay. I'm, I'm getting at the questions. Huh? Okay. I thought you were <laughs> <Are> actually you <laughs> Googling. <laughs> okay. 
be Ayub. Ayub, how many yeah. times? Huh, Ayub, how many times is he mentioned yeah. in the Quran? Jacob. 35. Okay. Zil Kifi. Ah, by the way, let me write this down. Let me write this down. Uh, so that we saw. have the... One second, one second. Yes. So my first answer was what? Your first answer was 25. 25. My second answer... Is was 4. 35. 35? Yeah. Oh, wow. I'm j why, why am I giving you the answers anyways? Okay. Harun. Harun. Aaron. Yeah. How many times has he men been mentioned in the Quran? Is this all the questions like this? No, I just... All right. If you're bored, I can change it up. 25. 24. Okay. Did you give me the answer? I just gave you the answer. Okay. But anyways, now it's your turn. Since you're so bored. No, I'm not bored. Huh. I'm just saying, go, go through the 10 questions. It's time for you to ask me. Or you want to just go through the... Yeah, go through the 10 questions. Okay, all right. And then I'll go through List five non-profits mentioned in the Quran. Non-profits? Yeah. What does that mean? Five people, non-profits. Huh, non-profits. Who are mentioned in can the Quran. Be, can they be female? Any? Go right ahead. Five. Fir'aun. Pharaoh. Mm, Maryam. Two, Maryam, Mary. Um, Tabbat yada Abu Lahab. Abu Lahab. Abu Lahab. Uh, <laughs> 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 That's another one in the air as well. <laughs> oh, Khaqan. Um, <laughs> Masoud. <laughs> uh, Three. One second. He's the baddest. Oh, Iblis. Iblis. Okay. I just gave you a hint yeah, for that and one, I right? And I don't know anyone else. Talud, Jalud, Dhul Qarnayn. Okay, yeah. Fine. <laughs> okay? Fine. All right. Name 10 titles of Imam al-Mahdi. 10 titles? Yeah. Actually, five. Yalla. Okay. I'll go easy on you. Five. Baqiyatullah. Okay. Don't mention the one. We'll, okay, we'll go ahead. All right. That one. <laughs> that one. to stand. <laughs> okay. Um, you have to mention it, so... Okay, Al-Qa'im. Al-Qa'im. Zayn. Al-Hujjah. Al-Hujjah. Sahib al-Zaman. Sahib al-Zaman. Aba Salih. Aba Salih. Good. Okay. That's fine. Al-Mahdi. His title is Al-Mahdi. Fine, Al-Mahdi. Okay. Now, which Imam on both sides of his grandfathers is an infallible Imam? Is an infallible Imam. Yeah. So both of his grandfathers are infallible Imams. There's one Imam out of 12. No way. That's a good question. No, but. Imam Sajjad? No. One second, one second, one second. No, because Imam Sajjad. No, no, Imam Sajjad. Well, I, haven't, I, haven't I haven't said anything. Huh, no, no, I, he, I he, was, he was trying yeah, to, he was. you know, help you out. I'm going to go mother and father? No, no. His father, his grandfather. So basically, on one side... Maternal and paternal. Yes. Okay. One side, Imam Hassan. One side, Imam Hussein. Imam huh. Baqar, alayhi salam. I was just about to say that. Uh -huh. Aha. Yeah, just about to say that. <laughs> Khosh. Okay. Which prophet's wives had children at old age? Name the prophets and the wives. Which prophet's wives? Mm -hmm. Gave birth at a later stage, and yani old age. Uh, Prophet Ibrahim. Okay, that's known. And and I th I believe it's either Hajar or Sara. It's who, uh, you, which one was the maid? Which one was not? Sara was the maid. H Hajar. Hajar. Yes. Good. And is there another one? Just one more. Yeah. Are they from the Ulul Azim, the five main important? I can't tell you. So give me a clue. He's mentioned in the Quran. Well, there's a hundred thousands of prophets mentioned in the Quran. No. Yani. Yani in Surah Maryam. Huh. Yani to be even more specific, Joseph. No. Asa. No. I don't know. I'm just making them up. Huh? Zachariah. <laughs> Zachariah. <laughs> Zachariah. Well, like you're a cheater. Khosh. <laughs> <laughs> Good. Zachariah. Good. Okay. Now. A couple of more questions. Let me just get them out. Uh, how many parts of the body mm. must touch the ground during sujood? One, so now you've two, gotten... Three, four, five, six, seven. Seven? Yeah. Khosh. Now you've gotten how many wrong and how many right? Who's keeping count for this? 
know. Who's keeping count? For me, I got four right. And one wrong. This is the sixth Five. question. So we'll leave, we'll leave it as that. Four, so four, four, right. four and one wrong. Uh, what was the real name of Umm al-Banin? Fatima al-Kilabiya. Fatima al-Kilabiya. Al-Kilabiya. Good. That's name three brothers of Imam Ali. Um, Aqil. Oh, he's famous. Abu what? Talib. <laughs> Basically. And Ja'far. Ja'far. Yeah. Good. This is number nine. So, uh, eight, one. Which companion lived to see the first five Imams? Jabir ibn Abdullah al Ansari. Abdullah Ansari. Yes. Great. That's actually a very high score. 9 1, yeah? 9 1. Right. Let's see if I can beat you. All right. Okay. Yeah. So, how old was Umm al Banin when she passed away? How old? 61. Six, or 61 62. Okay. I'm going to say the answers. All right. Okay, yeah? good. What was the name of Salman al Muhammadi before he was renamed? Al Farisi. Salman al Farisi. Okay. Who was the father of Muhammad ibn Hanafiya? <laughs> Hanafiya? <laughs> <laughs> no. It's like Maryam bit Umran. Who was yeah. her father? So, so who was the father of Muhammad ibn Hanafiya? Okay. Hanafiya? Okay, we'll take that as the answer. Who was the first prophet to write the Bismillah? Oh, sorry, Muhammad ibn Hanafiya? Isn't that? <laughs> I'm taking your first answer as Hanafiya. Uh, is, isn't that the son of Ali? I'm going to take the first answer. Then, wow. we'll go, we'll go Why did I say we'll, that? <laughs> we'll go through it at the end. So, yeah. where, uh, who was the first prophet to write the Bismillah? To write the Bismillah? The Bismillah, Rahman Rahim. Rahim? Huh? Uh, no, I'm, I'm continuing. <laughs> You're sly. <laughs> uh, so, uh, Solomon? All right, we'll take that. <laughs> where did the Battle of Jamal take place? Basra. Okay. Who was the father of Imam Ali? Father of Imam Ali. Like his actual name? Yeah, yeah. Abu Talib. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> <I> speak. <laughs> okay. Um, which surah is the longest of the Quran? Qal Baqarah. I'm giving you easy questions here. Which Prophet's name is repeated the most in the Quran? Oh. It's either Musa or Noah. Give me a name. Musa? Final answer? Help me out. No, 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 that's enough. That's enough. That's enough. That's enough. Um, I'll go with, with, with uh, Moses. Moses, okay. Who were the four sons of Umm al Banin? Four sons. Al Abbas, alayhi salam. Uh -huh. Aun. Yep. No. Al Abbas, Ja'far. Yep. Um, Ja'far, uh, what's the guy? Uthman. Okay. And Abbas. Oh, so you said Abbas. Oh, is that Abbas? Uthman, Ja'far, one more. One more? Abbas, Ja'far, and Uthman? E? And Abdullah? Okay. <laughs> Who? Okay, I'm gonna. Uh, one second. One more. You're looking for a hard one, eh? I am actually looking for a, a pretty hard one, yeah. Oh, you gotta beat this, man. Okay. Hopefully, I beat you. We'll see. Actually, I did Who it. Who was the father in law of Sayyidah Zainab? The father in law of Sayyidah Zainab. No, she's uh, Aqil. Right? Aqil or, or, or Ja'far, one of them. Give me. I'm going to ask you. Aqil. 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 Okay, you're going to go for Aqil? Jafar. No, my, no you chose for Aqil. You took, I'm going to take Aqil. All right, go ahead. All right, so how old was Umm al when she died? What did you say? 61 or 62? 61 or 62 is the incorrect answer. 61. It's 59 or 60. Oh, wow. Yeah. I'm, I'm going to go by this. 59 or 60. Is <laughs> it? Uh, what was the name of Salman Muhammad before he was renamed? Farsi. No. Salman Muhammad is just another, another word for Salman al-Farisi. Okay. Salman al-Farisi, uh, the, the Prophet changed it from Salman al-Farisi to Salman Muhammad, but his actual name, Salman, was something beforehand. Uh -huh. It was Ruzi Yeah. 
Well, the Persians will know this, so. Okay, so who was the father <laughs> of Muhammad ibn Hanafiya? You said Hanafiya. <laughs> <laughs> it was Imam Ali. It was Imam Ali <laughs> Wow. Yeah. No, but you, was... you gotta give me that, because I, <laughs> I, then I changed I told it. You. I, I'm gonna take the first answer that you say. Yalla. Zian. Um, who was the uh, the prophet to write the Bismillah? Sulaiman. Uh, okay. Where did the, uh, the Battle of Jamal take place? It was Basra, Basra in Iraq. Who was the father of Imam Ali, Abu Talib? Uh, what was the longest of the Quran? Baqarah. Which prophet's name is repeated the most in the Quran? What did you say? Musa. Or? Nuh. Okay, which one are you going for? I'm giving a last chance. <laughs> Can I look? No. Because <laughs> it was one of your questions. <laughs> In Mushkin. <laughs> Go, give me your final answer. Yalla, Moses. Moses. Moses is the correct answer. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> and who were the four sons of Mul Banin? You said them all correct. Abbas, Uthman, Ja'far, Abdullah. Nice. And the last question was who was the father in law of Sayyidah Zainab? I said Ja'far. Aqil. 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 It is actually Ja'far. Okay. Yeah, so it's Ja'far uh, Al Tayyar. Ja'far Al Tayyar. Yeah. Nice. Yeah. So uh, you got about five questions wrong and five questions right. 50-50. 50-50. So congratulations to me. I won that quiz. And inshallah, well, tomorrow we'll, we'll go for... I, I have to beat you. But 99 is a pretty good record. I was surprised that you got them all right. Well, the majority of them, right? Alhamdulillah. You know? Um, so... Uh, we have another Mulla, victory Mulla, to show are you. Are you still what? No. You're not what? I'm good. Oh, okay. <laughs> no, not in a good way, though. Yeah. <laughs> we're, uh, we're we have, uh, live we have another TV. victory to show you. Uh, actually, another victory that uh, he cheated on. <laughs> uh, we'll leave you to decide yeah. But in the break um, We have to surprise you Yesterday uh, Mullah said that we do have a surprise He was actually surprised today To actually participate For the first time is this? Yeah, this is For the first, the first time, time in first his time life I do something like this uh, Does something like this On uh, national television yeah. um, So to that And we'll be back shortly the scenes game with Ali Fadl and this game is called Water Wars. Now the rules of this game is basically whoever draws the highest card means the winner. For example if Ali draws a 9 and I draw a 6 then he gets to splash me with water. So basically this is the cup. This is the cup and the loser at the end will get splashed with the biggest cup. Um, so you could end up totally dry or yeah. you could end up totally wet. Yeah, so <laughs> or we can end up both wet as well. Alright, so it just goes back to your luck. <laughs> yeah, it just goes back to your luck. <laughs> Mullah, All right. you, you have only one chance to shuffle the cards. And if you want to swap cards, swap the decks, then yeah, that's up to you. Alright. Alright, All right. so this is the first shuffle, yeah? The first shuffle. Alright. Okay. Okay. One. If it's a tie, you gotta yeah. go again, alright? One, two, three. Yeah, 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 not to what his hair. <laughs> Mulla, you want to swap cards or are you still good? I'm good. <laughs> Alright. Alright. Can I swap around? Go ahead. Can I shuffle? Go ahead, please. Now, there's one card in there that beats all cards. It's, sure. it's uh, the dollar sign. The dollar sign okay. beats all... Okay. Everything, alright? Okay. One, two, two three. three. Hello. Ooh! Hello. 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 Go ahead. Okay. One, two, three. <laughs> I still got one left. Okay. Why is this water warm? <laughs> okay. All right. We're good? Anyways. One, one two, two, three. three. Yeah. <laughs> okay, ready? Steady. <laughs> Sorry. All right. Ready? One, one two, two, three. three. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> Yalla! <laughs> 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 yeah, this is the big one. This, this is, is the freezing one. water. Okay, this, this is freezing yeah, water. This is cold water. Okay, ready? Go shuffle. No, no, I lost. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. I lost? Yeah. Oh, you lost all three? So this I, is I, I, You still have one left. This, 
Oh wow. Forgive him. If you forgive him. Allah forgives. And that's how we celebrate Shaban here live from Karbala on Imam Fusay TV3. I was alright, I think you were the... I got, yeah, I got lost, but um, it's okay. actually a very fun game. Yeah. Um, we'll Let's try it at home. Thank you very much for joining no us. No problem. Hope you didn't get upset. We'll see you in a bit. <laughs> we'll see you in a bit in a live show. <laughs> Great! <laughs> Allah for gives what Ali Fazal no. <laughs> Respected viewers, welcome back. Um, now, the only way that Ali Fadl won was because <laughs> I gave him the chance to shuffle again. Yeah. <laughs> In the video, I said the highest card was what? The dollar the sign. The dollar sign. The yeah. dollar, I had the dollar sign on top. Why did I shuffle? I don't know. Why did you shuffle? <laughs> I don't know. We both shuffled, yeah. So, because yeah, well, the thing is, I was losing twice and then I needed to shuffle the cards. Like, I needed to mm -hmm. change it up a bit. So, uh, we shuffled and then. Yeah. That was fun. It was fun. It was. It was. It was. It was, it was, it was so, fun. Uh, yeah, guys, we're going to. There's going to be lots more surprises in the next, in the next couple of nights. We're not going to tell you exactly what, uh -huh. but you have to stay tuned um, so that you are um, taking part and participating in the fun and games. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Now, this second part, that there's something going on with, uh, with my email. Um, but anyways, Mullah, another question that um, I got is, do you get bombarded when you come to Iraq? or when you go out in the streets um, or people, you know, asking you for pictures or, you know. Um, Iraq, not so much. Well, yeah, okay. Yeah, not, not really. Like, like every now and then. Yeah, like uh, with your family and stuff. Yeah, so there's like. Supportive? Because peop yeah, people like, people come for ziyara from like different countries like America and Africa and all that. Um, so, uh, you know, yeah, it's, it's, you do get recognized every now and then on the streets. Um, in Ben Al Haramain and stuff, mm -hmm. which is nice. Um, in different countries, I don't really get recognized on the streets, but like when I'm going to the program, obviously people like to take photos. Well, yeah, of course, in, like in the programs, yeah. Just that, really. Mm -hmm. But here, not, not, not so much on the streets, but it's main, mainly when I actually go to the program, yeah, you know, people know. People know what? That, you know, they know who I am and, and uh -huh. yeah. So this, this earpiece is just plugging my ear? Mine's and, fine. And, and, and I can't even hear what you're saying. Mine's fine. Um, but anyways, another question that, um, that really I want to ask you, okay, uh, is, maybe it's not proper to ask that question. Uh, I'll change up the question. How many times uh, have you been to countries where you actually are surprised? Like, you, you know that you have a certain idea or, or an event, you have a certain idea of your audience of, uh, you know, how well they're excited. And when you get there, you're just shocked, either in a good way or a bad way. Um, I know you came once to, uh, to Canada. Yeah, I mean, t t to be honest with you, like with my experience in, in, um, in different events and conferences and stuff, there are certain, certain places that I go that um, they go beyond the norm. Mm -hmm. They go beyond the norm uh, when it comes to the decoration of the event and the style of the event and the content of the event, which is very, which is very nice to see. It's very refreshing for them yes. to do that. For example, I'll do an event in um, an auditorium, uh -huh. like a cinema auditorium. Nice. Which is, I love doing that kind, of, that kind of program. Or you'll have an event, it could be a small event like in a, in a small mosque, or it could be a big event in, a, in an auditorium. Mm -hmm. um, but I've never, I've never I've, I'm, always, I'm, I'm always pleased with the crowd's participation. Like, I mean, not in a sense where, of course, yeah, I mean, as a mullah and as a guest, you have to be pleased yeah. uh, with, the, with the atmosphere. But what I mean is, have you been shocked, Yani, for example, you think yeah, you, you have been invited to a certain place and you know, maybe the, a lot of people don't go to that. This is just an example. Yeah. And then when you turn up, there's like hundreds of people, thousands of people oh, attend. Or um, along those lines, shocked in a way where, you know, I, yeah, I, I, I didn't expect yeah, this. Yeah, yeah, that has. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So for example, I'll, I, like, I'd, I'd see the poster of the event and I'd be like, okay, so this, this is a, a certain, certain cultural event. 
mm -hmm. um, and I have a certain expectation in my mind thinking okay this, this might be 100 people or maybe 200 people so I try to change my focus or change my recitations to, to suit the crowd and then when I turn up it's actually in a massive hall and there's a lot of people it's a fundraising event or there's you know there's tables and chairs and everything so it's mm -hmm. then I have to oh I have to I have to adjust um, so I can't give you I can't really give you specifics but it's just happened during the way um, mm -hmm. during my my experiences over the last couple of years mm -hmm. now this game huh. we've only played it once yeah it's called truth and dare truth and dare truth and dare okay okay now we'll go over the rules yep Basically, if, if you choose truth, you have to say the truth. The honest truth. Okay. Yesterday, you proved to be a very good... Uh, liar. <laughs> How do you say liar in Persian? <laughs> a very good liar. Yeah. Uh, but hopefully not in real life. No, no. It's uh, just for the fun and games. For the fun and the games. Um, so basically, you have to say the, uh, you have to be honest. And the dare, you have to complete the dare. Fine. Okay? Fine. I might make you get up and do something. Fine. Anyways, truth... Uh, before that, let's go to a call that we have, uh, we just received. Assalamu alaikum. Wa alaikum assalam wa rahmatullah. First of all, I would like to say, Alam al-Mullah. Alam Hassoun, assalamu alaikum. No, no, no. Yeah, Sufni. This is Sufni, yeah. Just the way he says Mullah, I know him. I, I know his, his Mullah. Ah, so Sufni. We, we, can't, we can't really hear you properly. Is this Sufni? I don't... It is, it is. It's definitely in Sufni, but I, I, we can't hear him properly. Okay, okay, all right, all right. Well, let's just do one, one truth and dare. Oh, oh. 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 <laughs> do try again uh, to call. Uh, was uh, was nice of you to actually remember your friends. Uh, very nice friend. Oh, but I'm here today, bro. Nail guns. What's that? What's A nail gun. A nail gun. Yeah, nail guns. Yeah. Um, so yes, one truth and one dare. Mulla. Truth or dare? Truth. Truth. Hello. If you were trapped on an island for three days, what would you take with you and why? What or who? My mobile phone. Aha. Uh -huh. Are you married? I am. Nice. Okay. Is she watching? I don't know. <laughs> Sometimes I get a Snapchat of... Yeah, I don't know. Okay. Um, so your phone? My phone. Okay. And I would take... Desert island is usually hot. Island with nothing on it. Just so one palm tree. So it's hot. Oh yeah. I'll take a, uh, a punker. Actually, I'll take a siblet. <laughs> a siblet? There's no electricity. Where are you going to put it? Oh, yeah. Good luck, wait. And then I'll get a generator. Oh, bad. Fedora. As Iraqis would say it, grab wood, <laughs> grab a container, <laughs> fill it up with things and just take it over there. That's, that's two things, two things, two things. That's, that's what it is. Okay, so what did you choose? Your phone? My There's phone? no signal, just pictures, okay? Okay? No, there is signal. <laughs> How? Okay, okay, okay. If that's the case, I'll definitely bring the, the, the generator. I'll tell generator. you why. I need electricity. Generator. Definitely. Zian? You have no roof, nothing to lighten up? Uh, of yeah. course, yeah. Generator. Okay. Where yeah. you get the, the, the light bulb from? You have to take a light bulb, and then take that's a marwaha, yeah. a fan, and then take a siblet. Zian, generator is the first thing. I need okay. electricity. But Sukhni is ready, so that's my thing. Sukhni is ready? Go. All right, so let's go. Assalamu alaikum. Alaikum assalam wa rahmatullah. Al Khadim Al Husseini. Hussein Sukhni, Shonak. How are you? Wow. Alhamdulillah. Alhamdulillah. Whereabouts are you now? On your travels? You know me, I am all over the world. At the moment, you are in Sweden. MashaAllah. You're either in Europe or in London. You know, all over the world. Alhamdulillah, Alhamdulillah, this is the part of Imam Al-Hussein. Hey. <laughs> Allah. <laughs> MashaAllah. MashaAllah. Inshallah, I'm going to cut the Hussein. How, how are your experiences in Europe? Alhamdulillah, we are meeting many, many Hussaini people. We are going to all the centers. We are meeting new people. All of them journeying to uh, revive the rituals of the Ahlul Bayt. Hello. The same way you are doing in the studio next to Abba Abdullah, the same way these people are. Allah, the Allah, Allah. Have. Hello. Alhamdulillah. What messages do you want to say? What? 
Sorry? What messages did you want to, to say live on the air? I wanted to say, obviously apart from Halab al Mullah, was, uh, I wanted to remind, uh, remind you of that one time on Arba'in when we walked, well, sort of walked together, together from Rajas to Karbala. Yeah. Those great moments where we were caught on the back of a Kaya, hanging on Balada. <laughs> <laughs> uh, we had adventures, I'm not going to lie, we had real good adventures. I have one question. Uh, something that we cannot just say in words. Yeah. They don't, many people don't understand what it is to walk towards Allah, to walk on the path of Allah. Mm. Ahsad, Allah, it, Ahsan, it, it Ahsan. makes you feel free. Ahsan, uh, brother. I'd like to thank you for giving me the opportunity. Can you hear and, us? Uh, I'm loving the show and I'm sure all the viewers are. And I hope to see you all very soon. All right, thanks a lot. Ahlan, ahlan wa salam. Alaykum as salam. Send my regards to them, especially for Imam Hussain TV. Alaykum as salam. Alaykum as salam. All right. We'll see you soon. Okay, back to you. We're back. Yeah. Khosh. Uh, now, back to the game. I actually wanted Hussain to play the game with us, where he it's difficult because he, he can hardly hear. Why, why you can hardly hear? I'm just being technically, oh, okay. technically sound. Yeah. Okay, all right. Now, uh, truth or dare? We'll go for a dare. For a dare? Yeah. Uh, make the highest pitch with <laughs> your sound, with your voice. What? The highest pitch. <laughs> <laughs> I can't do that. Just, just out of the block. The, the, the highest pitch. Either you can recite and then do a high pitch or... That's the highest switch I can do. <laughs> That's the highest yeah. switch? <laughs> you I saw it first do. on IHTV. <laughs> That's the highest switch. Exclusively. I can do. <laughs> Is this the first time you've done that's this? That's the first time I've ever done that. Twice, truth or dare? Let's go for another dare. Another dare? Yeah, that's exciting. Mm, do I want. You gotta find up? truth. No, 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 no. Huh. no, no, no. Huh, first, dare. remember? Hey. I, I answer twice, you say first question. Hey. First answer? Hey, Allah Twice. Allah. Say the alphabets, alphabets backwards. Okay. With us, with us. Z, Y, X. W. Wait, خلا خلص. Ah, okay. Q R S T U. ما غشة كاني ملا. T U V W. W. V. U T. S. لحظة. S R Q. Okay. L M N O P. P. O. N. M. N. L. K. J. K. H. H. A B C D E F G. G. So basically, as going yeah. forward, and then wow. E. Mm -hmm. E. D. D. C. B. A. Uh, wow! Can we have a round of applause uh, for Mullah Ali Father for taking ten minutes? That was really difficult. Khush. <laughs> uh, truth or dare? Dare. Another dare. Yeah, yeah. Since you said that. Uh, how many push-ups can you do? Oh, I'm not doing push-ups. Why not? Live on TV. Should no, we change it? Yeah, change it. Hush. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We should I'll have do, I'll a take challenge. A we should have a challenge. Can you? Me and you. Yalla. Not now. We'll do. We'll do a push-up challenge. We'll do a push-up challenge. The, the loser of a certain challenge will have to do the push-ups. Twenty push-ups. Live. La. The loser will have to go live. Record. Twenty push-ups. Recorded. Recorded. Well, rec the challenge is recorded. Well, the loser from the challenge Khayala. will have to do it live. Fine. Yeah. Are you are you are you going push ups? I'm, I'm game. Yeah. Yeah. I'm right. Push ups. Okay. Yeah. Right, good. Khosh, a dare? We'll have a truth. Ah, truth. Yeah. Khosh. What is your? Well, this is very easy. What is your favorite season of the year, and why? Well, coming from uh, living in London, summer is the best season, because our summer is about maximum thirty degrees. 
and mm. there's a very good breeze and it's it's perfect weather. It's beautiful. Yeah. Not the 50 degrees here. Mm -hmm. Yeah, here's like 50, 60 degrees. I'm not, I don't like that kind of summer. I'm talking about London summer. London summer is the best summer. Fresh mm. air, beautiful. That's my favorite season. Mm -hmm. yeah. Now, the last one, and then we'll get to a, a different vibe. Truth or dare? I'll go for dare. Dare. Close your eyes and send a blind text to anyone. I'll send it to you. No, no, I said close your eyes. Hey. No, no. What's the blind text? Close your eyes yeah. and send a blind text to a random person. So you close your eyes, go to your contacts and send a, a text message. Oh my God. No, I can't do that. I have, I have hundreds of contacts in here. What if it just goes to stuff? No. What if, what if I type a random message? But blind, I can't see what's going on. Oh, yeah. and, I, and, I, and I message to you, yeah, I message to you. Well, no, right. no, not me. Yeah, so that you can read out what I'm saying and it okay, could right, not right. even make sense. All right, go but ahead. tell me what the sentence is. Okay, go ahead. Yeah? All right. What's the sentence? Tell me the sentence, I have to type it. No, 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 anything. Okay. I love being on this show and I can't wait for tomorrow's episode. Send. Yes. Yes. <laughs> Autocorrect. <laughs> well, thank you. Autocorrect. <laughs> thank you very much, iOS, <laughs> Apple. Thank you very much. It was actually very good. It's, I love being in this show and I can't wait to tomorrow's episode. Nice. Hey. Nice. You got lucky Hello. by the autocorrect. Yeah. Khosh? Mulla. Now, uh, the last part of today yeah. is up to you. Because I don't want to ruin the stuff. Yani, I got a lot of in something in stuff in, 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 store, in store. So I don't want to mess it up. What so am I doing? Truth or dare? Anything you got to ask me. You want me to ask you? Okay. Yeah. Truth or dare? Truth or dare me? Yeah. Go ahead. Truth or dare? Uh, truth or dare? Truth. Zian. Let me get a sip of water. Have you mm -hmm. ever... Wow. Those three words are dangerous. A. <laughs> Have you ever... No, can't say that on TV. Have you ever... I can't think of a question. Truth or dare? Is it true that... Mm. No. Is it true? Well, I can say yes or no. Yeah. Have you ever... I dare. Okay, I, I. dare. Dare. I dare you to. If we get some suggestions from, from the audience, that'd be great. But, Hussein um, Sukhni, if you're watching this, give us a dare or a truth. All right. No, no. I, I'm, I'm waiting I'll, for you. Uh, I'll I think dare. Of a dare. I dare. Even if I get up, I don't, I don't mind. I'm trying to think of something. You want to get up? I don't care. Okay. Do. Do 10, e. ten, what? ten jumps, nah. one legged jumps. <laughs> nah. You said anything. Nah. You said anything. Nah, I could have told, I could have forced you to do the, <laughs> the, the, the push ups. Uh, you want to do it or not? <laughs> nah. <laughs> I was going to say to do 10, ten one legged jumps, but clap your hands at the same time. Nah, I sent. Hey. I'll do that when you're reciting. <laughs> uh, nah, I'm done. <laughs> I'll do that when you're reciting. Okay. I'll come beside you, <laughs> but you have to do it with me. No, I can't do this. And recite no, at no, the same no. time. I, I have to focus on the recitation. You so multitask. I can't, I can't focus on two, two things at once. Huh. Yeah. Okay, go ahead. I'm trying Ask to think again. of something. I can't really think of anything. Yeah, let's, let's leave it at that. I'll think of something and for tomorrow's show. Khosh. Okay? Khosh. You got to use up... Mullahs, mullahs have a, a, a huge <laughs> imagination. Mullahs. Jama Mullah, Mullahs. <laughs> <laughs> you know, they have, they're creative. <laughs> you know what I mean? Yeah, they are. But I just, uh, my mind is blank now, so I just, oh, okay. uh, yeah. All right. Hopefully, we can. The story of these flowers. The story uh -huh. of these flowers, nice. So, where they came from, nice, okay. Um, so, in the break, basically, uh, what the producer has told us that uh, in the break, inshallah, you'll be presented with a short report about where these flowers actually came from. 
And after the break, uh, Ali Fadl will take it from here. He'll recite. Is today Urdu or just English? No, no, just English. Just English? Yeah. Why the first night Urdu? Maybe a lot of people like Urdu. If there's a request, I'll do it. If there's no request, then no. Oh, then I request. If there's a request online, I'll do it. Okay, then I'll go online. <laughs> <laughs> I'll go online and request it. Although I'm not Urdu. Yeah. <laughs> but obviously. <laughs> <laughs> the tone that you recited it was was funny. Yeah. What well, no, was nice? Okay. Nice, not funny. I don't want to offend anyone. Yeah. Uh, so yes, inshallah, after the break, you'll be joined with Ali Fadl uh, to give you the spirituality of Karbala of the month of Sha'ban at the comfort of your home and show you what Karbala has to offer uh, to you at home and to the pilgrims of Imam Hussein alayhi salam in Karbala. Mullah, uh, take it over. Yeah, um, so we're going to have brief insights, uh, some little knowledge insights as well regarding the spirituality of the month of Sha'ban and preparation for Ramadan. Um, I believe we'll have some reports on the atmosphere in Karbala as we're yes. leading up to as we're leading up to the um, birth of Imam Mahdi, uh, alayhi salam. And of course, we'll have some live recitations where yes. we'll be, hopefully you'll be joining me. Uh, and some guests here will be joining me as well so that we can liven up your nights or light your nights um, with the celebration of Imam Mahdi Ajallahu Ta'ala Farajah Sharif. So we'll see you after the break in a couple of minutes. Yes, Mullahs. Assalamu alaikum, peace and blessings of Allah be upon you all. Welcome to a new report from the Holy Land of Karbala. Respected viewers, we are at the basement of the Holy Shrine of Abu Fadl Abbas, peace be upon him. You probably don't understand, but my brothers here are reciting eulogy uh, about the bravery of Abu Fadl Abbas and uh, about the other characteristics of uh, Abu Fadl Abbas, peace be upon him. Uh, as you see, a, a, an expectation an exportation container uh, just imported from uh, Iran to Iraq you know uh, full of uh, flowers and roses that are dedicated you know to decorate the holy shrines of the Ahlul Bayt alayhim salam in Iraq my brothers here from Iran are dedicating their time you know uh, to put the flowers and roses into bouquets and uh, flower crowns uh, in order to dedicate in order to uh, decorate the inside of the holy shrine with these beautiful uh, roses uh, on the uh, it is it is very it is a very beautiful initiative uh, by these brothers to do such thing uh, on this on this very beautiful uh, and auspicious occasion which is the birth anniversary of imam al mahdi sahib al zaman may allah hasten his reappearance respected viewers Stay tuned for more reports from the Holy Land of Karbala. Thank you very much for joining us. Wassalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. La 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 la
la la la la la la la la la la la la la la la la la la la la la la la la la la la la la la la la la la la la la la la la la la la la la la la la la la la la la la la la la la la la la la la la la la la la la la la la la la la la la la la la la la la la la la la la la la la la la la la la la la la la la la la la la la la la la la la la la la la la la la la la la la la la la la la la la la la la la la Welcome back, my dear respected viewers of Imam Hussein TV3, the English um, channel of the Imam Hussein Media Group. Um, we are live from Karbala, the holy city of Karbala, as it celebrates the birth of, or the births of the heroes of Karbala, Imam Hussein alayhi salam, Imam Sajjad, and Abil Fadl al-Abbas alayhi salam. But now we are gearing towards the birth of Imam Mahdi, ajallahu ta'ala farajahu sharif um, and the 15th of Sha'ban. It is actually the second most holiest nights of the Islamic calendar. So this first life, for the first life, the first most spiritual night is Laylatul Qadr, as we know, Ramadan. The second most spiritual night is the 15th of Sha'ban. Karbala as a city will be packed with visitors because not only is it the night of the 15th of Sha'ban, but coincidentally it is the night of Friday. So Thursday or the night of Thursday, the night before Friday. And the night before Friday, usually it is recommended it is recommended to visit Abu Abdullah al Hussein to pay your respects and send your allegiances to Abu Imam Hussein. Alayhi salam. But now it falls on the 15th of Sha'ban or the night of the 15th of Sha'ban. So, therefore, we will get thousands and thousands of visitors coming to you here in Karbala. To celebrate this occasion, Imam Hussein TV uh, has a number of projects and a number of reports. We've seen our dear reporter, Muhammad Ali, um, giving you some insights into the streets of Karbala, the culture of Karbala, the atmosphere of Karbala, as it celebrates the births uh, and this, f uh, this enjoyable season, the Sha'baniya season. Karbala as a city has lit up with lights and flowers um, and, and sweet aromas uh, on the streets. Um, so it is very safe to say that the whole city is celebrating in style. Um, I personally, as, my, as I walked towards the, the studio, witnessed three or four congregations uh, upon which people were reciting and uh, reciting together um, and really enjoying their times, um, even entering the shrine as well as, as part of a congregation. So it was uh, and is a, a brilliant atmosphere. Um, it's, it's very much different to Arba'in, um, although it's more or less, it, it's the same and it's different. What I mean by it's the same and different, it's the same in the sense that everyone is out commemorating and everyone is out celebrating. But here, when it comes to Arba'in, everyone's obviously mourning and they're in grief. Uh, but when it comes to Sha'bani season, they are in the polar opposite and they are celebrating. I don't know where camera one is. This one's camera one? Yeah, that's camera one. Sorry. Um, again, so. Between, between every now and then, I get instructions in my ear telling me camera one, camera two, camera three. As you can see, I chop and change. Um, I didn't notice there was a camera one here, so here's camera one, and I speak to directly to the camera one. Um, in any case, um, in terms of the small insights, the reason why millions of people come towards Imam Hussein alayhi salam, and the millions of people pay their allegiances and pay their respects to Imam Hussein and Abdul Fadl Abbas alayhi salam, visiting these momentous shrines is number uh, it is different. There are different reasons for why they come. One of the main reasons is, as we mentioned in the uh, in the ziyarat, the ziyarat is basically the book upon which there are words and supplications to recite to Allah subhanahu wa taala and to ask for your hajat and needs in the name of these two great kings living here in Karbala. One of the reasons is to answer a call. Now, if we go back centuries and we go to the time of the Prophet Ibrahim, he was tasked with a momentous occasion to build the Kaaba. When he was asked to build the Kaaba, 
in a time of, of uh, difficulty, he built the, the Kaaba made of stone and then he waited for the next instruction. The next instruction came to him by his Lord and it said that he was to make a call to the people around, to the people to make them come towards Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, to pledge their allegiance to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. But he said, oh Ibrahim said, oh Lord, there is no one here in front of me. Who do I make this call to? Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala responded and said, do not worry, oh Ibrahim. The call that you make will be heard in the loins of the women and the backs of the men. Because this call transcended time and space upon which today we, everyone answers the call once a year in the Hajj season. Where we go towards Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and we pledge our allegiances to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala by saying, Labbaik Allahumma Labbaik. Now, similarly, if we go down and we, if we go down uh, and we accept that the Ahlul Bayt are the vicegerents of Allah Subhanahu Wa Taala, the 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 reason why they were created is to give us the message and cement the message of La Ilaha in Allah. The call that Imam Hussein alayhi salam made on the day of Ashura on the land of Karbala was a similar call, a similar miraculous call. When Imam Hussein makes that call, why did he make this call? There was no one in front of him. The people in front of him were enemies of Islam. The people in front of him wanted to kill Imam Hussein Islam, but he needed to make the stand for one reason and one reason alone, to resurrect the teachings of his grandfather Rasulullah. So when he made this call, he said, oh people, is there anyone out there to help us? And this call that was incumbent on him to make this call, it was obligatory almost on him to make this stand to sacrifice himself and his women and his children and his companions to make this call wasn't for his own personal needs this call was to transcend time for this very reason that we see the millions of visitors drive towards Imam Hussein on an annual basis this call was Helmin Nasr and Yansurana is there anyone out there to help us not to help us but is there anyone out there to come towards Islam and this call transcended time and space, century upon century upon century. Every single person answered this call and says, Yes, Labbaik Ya Hussein. Similarly, how we say Labbaik Ya Allah and Labbaik Allahumma Labbaik. That same call, that same miracle was repeated by Imam Hussein salam, on the day of Ashura on the land of Karbala. And that is the reason why millions of people come towards Imam Hussein and Abu al-Fadl Abbas and the rest of the Imams of the Ahlul Bayt both in here in Iraq and Iran to pledge their allegiances to Ahlul Bayt salam, and say, yes, we want to be counted as part of your followers, those followers that reach Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and be in close vicinity of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala on the day of judgment. That's a bit of a, a little insight into the reasoning behind the visitors of Imam Hussain and we pray to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala to protect these visitors because Iraq unfortunately is at times a dangerous place to be in. Due to the political reasons, it is very dangerous to come to Iraq. A lot of people have second thoughts when it comes to visiting. My own parents always have reservations when it comes to me visiting Iraq. They, every single time they'll have a reservation, are you sure, is it the right time, is it not dangerous and so on and so forth. But at the same time, at the same time within their hearts, within their hearts, they know that Imam al Hussein salam, and Abu al-Fadl Abbas will protect me on this, on this path. They know that this path, if it's true servitude, they will come, I will come and inshallah be protected by Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala through the might of Imam Hussein Islam and Abdul Abbas. So we Allah, ask Allah, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala to protect the zawar of Imam Hussein Islam during this time, during Ramadan, during the Sha'ban season, during the Hajj season, during the Arafah season, the Muharram season, the Arba'in season, the Fatimiyah, every single season whereby people come towards Imam Hussein Islam. We ask Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala to protect these visitors. We're going to go on a short break. Um, upon which we'll finish the rest of the report by Muhammad Ali. And then after that, when we come back, we'll start with some recitations for your enjoyment, inshallah. We'll see you in a couple of minutes. <laughs> حلوة ليالينا حلوة آه 
يوم ما هذا الورد نثري نظمان اليوم شعري خلى يدري اللي ما يدري هالشعر اوزان الجنة هالشعر اوزان الجنة ارتجي ببيات رحمة تنزل وتكشف غمة تجبر المكسور عظمة نول الطالب تمنى نول الطالب تمنى يعزف الحانة يا مهدي يعزف الحانة يعزف الحانة يا مهدي يعزف الحانة حلوة ليالينا حلوة ليالينا حلوة ليالينا الفرح جانا الفرح جانا يا مهدي الفرح يلا الاعلام الاعلام فرح جانا يا مهدي حلوة حلوة ليالينا حلوة ليالينا حلوة ليالينا حلوة ليالينا Welcome back dear viewers of Imam Hussein TV um, You are watching Light Our Nights The second part of Light Our Nights Where I take you through the spiritual side of Shabbaniya season And the recitations and the uh, the fun and games is usually in the first part, so if you're watching me now, you've missed the fun and games for today. You've missed the water war that we had, me and Ahmed. Um, if you want to tune in, you need to tune in tomorrow for more surprises, more games, more probably more water as well. Um, but the, of course, the shows uh, do get segmented uh, and put on live on the uh, Facebook. As you can see, the Facebook is to my right. Um, and since I am on this on this um, on this topic, I'm going to go through a couple of um, the suggestions and comments by our dear viewers. So, um, Saranya Nothin Sin Hashemi says, "Salam, Ya Hussein. Please pray for Sayyid Rajab Hashemi and family." Um, Rayhana Ahmed, uh, Assalamu alaikum brothers, please can you make a dua so inshallah my family and I can go to Karbala. It hasn't been a month that we came back and we really miss the holy shrines. Jazakallah khairan. Um, Muhammad Riza uh, Charak says, please do dua for the reappearance of Imam Mahdi. Uh, Maryam Zaidi says, Salam ya Hussein ibn Ali alayhi salam, Salam ya Abu al Fadl Abbas alayhi salam. Um, Fawziya Hassan says Allah bless and safe Shias all over the world and keep safe all Ruza Mubarak of Aimma Tahirin alayhi salam um, Fawziya Hassan also says may Allah uh, bless souls of my parents and keep them nearest to Aimma Athar alayhi salam may Allah forgive all my sins uh, and my parents uh, all sins and give them the highest place in Jannah uh, Fizza alayhi says Assalamu alayka ya Aba Abdullah Al Hussein, I'm longing to see your holy shrine. Please call me soon. Fiz Ali, Ambrin Zahra, Noshin Zahra, Asad Ali, Haidar Ali, Sayyid Ali, Azra Sayyid, Hassan Raza, Abbas Raza, Shah Ali Akbar, Salman Raza, Ammar Hussein, Farheen Zaidi, Mahin Zaidi, please pray that Ammar Hussein uh, get high percentage in his A level exams. All the boys of our family become followers of our Imam. Um, the women maintain the hijab of Bibi Zainab. Uh, Fawzi Hassan goes further on to say, Allahumma salli ala Muhammad wa ala Muhammad wa ala farajum. Labbaika ya Imam Hussain alayhi salam. Labbaika ya Imam Zamana alayhi salam. Fatima Chandra says, please pray for my family, Abbas Karmali and family. Ya Imam, please call us again. Uh, Nazar Ahmed Dar says, salam ya Mawla Hussain. Uh, and there's Birak Hussain says, Sheikh Google Stani. LOL. I don't know what that's all about, but Sheikh Google Stani. We... Um, Okay, so uh, Neelam Parry says, Call me again, Mawla Hussein alayhi salam. Mujtaba Haidar says, Ya Hussein uh, alayhi salam, say, uh, say to God about my problem. Uh, Neelam Parry also goes and says, Salam Ya Hussein alayhi salam. Um, Imam Hussein TV3 says, Your names have been mentioned. Uh, Sayyid Muhammad Murtaza Zaidi says, Sayyid, um, uh, please, Sayyid Muhammad Murtaza Zaidi, please pray for me. Fatima Allu says, Salam to Imam and please call us. Uh, Takvir Mumin, Ali Father, please recite an Urdu. <laughs> we finally got one. Ali Father, please recite an Urdu. Okay, so I have a request to now recite an Urdu. Um, I actually don't have it on me, but hey, tomorrow, tomorrow I promise um, to be reciting for you in Urdu, just a small passage. Uh, so, brother, 
Tawkir Momin, please, please tune in tomorrow. Tell your friends and family, anyone else out there who speaks Pakistani or Urdu, um, please tune in. I'll be reciting a small passage um, for you, inshallah, tomorrow. We're going to go to a short break after this. Um, we're going to go to a short break. When we come back, I promise you it will be the recitations. And hopefully we have a bit of an audience here in the studio to liven up my night and to lighten up your night as well. We'll see you in a couple of minutes. Dunya farhana ya mahdi, dunya farhana, dunya farhana ya mahdi, dunya farhana, dunya farhana ya mahdi, dunya farhana. Halwa la ya alina, halwa la ya alina, halwa la ya alina. El farh jana, el farh jana ya mahdi, el farh. I gaze out in searching for a savior rising. The absence in my heart calls out for his name In a heart that's bleeding A fire igniting And only his rising Can put out this flame I wrote a letter Toward my master Address to your name, address to your name. Upon the horizon, I see no figure rising from the earth's curve, no hope, no picture. And I squint with my eye until the tears I cry write a message that I hold up in the air. I hope that he sees in my cry for help heeds the message in my hand. I hope that he reads. I use a tortured voice void of options and choice to cry out for the pride of my work and deeds. I cry from my desperation turned insane. I wrote a letter toward my master, address to your name, address to your name. A love letter addressed toward my beloved, on it I place my soul and all that I've loved. For myself I've disgraced when so much I have placed Before Imam Mahdi, my life and my blood I know that he's upset but still now I call I knock upon his door before me a wall I have but my regret failing test after test When truly his wonders my being in and yet my fears still ask me, they still tell me, Mehdi can you blame, Mehdi can you blame, I wrote a letter to my master, address to your name, address to your name. Dear respected brothers and sisters, inshallah, we will now uh, participate within the recitations 
And لا مو هلا just one second and uh, we now have actually on your screens live footage um, from Bainul Haramain and the two shrines of Imam Hussein Salam and Abil Fadl Abbas and from inside the shrine as you can see on your screens now um, this is from the inside and then there's the outside so it's going to have some nice shots now what I would like you to do is to prepare as we as we start with the recitations for today um, so please relax okay. Uh huh. So um, and just just go after me. All right. We say Allahumma ajil waliik al-faraj. Allahumma ajil waliik al-faraj. Ya talat al-rashida. Mahdi, Mahdi, Mahdi. Ya gharat al-hamida. Mahdi, Mahdi, Mahdi. Ya talat al-rashida. Mahdi, Mahdi. مهدي يا غرة الحميدة مهدي 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 بوجودك طعب السحر هل ألا وسهرنا ونعانق نجم السماء ونغازل بادرنا قول هذا ونغازل بادرنا واحد واحد ونغازل بادرنا مرخص لك يا ابن الحسن لا تطلب عمرنا ونهدي لك حتى النفس بالمحفل حضرنا بالمحفل حضرنا اي يا طلعة الرشيدة مهدي 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 يا غرة الحميدة مهدي 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 يا طلعة الرشيدة مهدي 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 يا غرة الحميدة مهدي 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 The world from its arch topples The world from its arch topples And with it we all fall In the midst of anarchy A sweet name we recall And as we fall with the world And as we fall with the world A fall that in gold soul We raise our hands to the Lord We raise our hands to the Lord And for Mahdi we call And for Mahdi we call eh, The cry we were taught to learn Mahdi, Mahdi, Mahdi Oh Lord, hasten his return Mahdi, Mahdi, Mahdi يا طلعة الرشيدة مهدي 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 يا غرة الحميدة مهدي مهدي هل يلاي هيم المحب ويبين ودعدا بالبهجة قلب شغف تغمرنا السعادة ميلادة فرحة قلب يا محلة الولادة ميلادة فرحة قلب يا محلة الولادة كل عاشق فيك نعشق وبصوت حب نادى وبصوت حب نادى اي يا طلعة الرشيدة مهدي 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 يا غرة الحميدة مهدي مهدي طلعة الرشيدة مهدي 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 How often do you heed us 
Oh Lord, who turns this world at your world's prosperity, tyranny, men have a hurl. For how long has our beloved along the world circled? For how long has our beloved along the world circled? Oh Lord, hasten his return. For helpless is this world, for helpless is this world. Searching for him, the earth turns, Mehdi, Mehdi, Mehdi. Oh Lord, hasten his return, Mehdi, Mehdi, Mehdi. Searching for him, the earth turns, Mehdi, Mehdi, Mehdi. يا غرة الحميدة مهدي 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 اللهم عجل لوليك الفرج and with that I think it's safe to conclude tonight's program uh, please please tune in tomorrow for more surprises more fun more games more recitations more spirituality more reports on the holy city of Karbala and these celebrations here I'm exhausted um, but hopefully we'll recuperate we'll recuperate for tomorrow inshallah um, so same time tomorrow 11 p.m. Karbala time 9 p.m. London and Washington DC is 4 p.m. Don't miss out. Light our nights every night. We'll see you. Thank you so much for watching. Goodbye. Wassalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh.